Shalom friends, I am so thrilled that I got to create two portraits for Seen, Jewish Women Illustrate Jewish Women, a project of Chochmat Nashim. Let's start with Judith Yehudit. We tell her story on Hanukkah. Judith gave the enemy General Holofernes a picnic in his tent that included cheese so salty he had to chug the wine she also strategically brought. Once he was drunk, she divorced his head from his body with his own sword. She and her maid then put the head in their picnic basket and bounced right out of there, leaving his army to make quite a shocking discovery in his tent the next morning. One of the things I actually like best about the Judith story is how it centers two women working together to achieve their goal. Sometimes women supporting women means helping each other to Ned Stark, an enemy, and then put his head in a basket and abscond with it in order to fully demoralize his army. The maid looks back with a little smile at their achievement, and rightly so. Judith herself carries the sword of Holofernes. It's hers now. Both of these women are proud, as they should be, of what they have accomplished using bravery, strategy, teamwork, and cheese. As we all know, that is the best combo to defeat an enemy. The second woman I illustrated is Beruria. In learning the Talmud, it is unfortunately rare to come across a woman who is named in the text. It's even more rare to come across a woman who has a name and is a sage. A female sage who outpaced her male peers, one time learning 300 halachot in one cloudy afternoon for funsies. I look at Beruria and I see the foremother of all women who study Talmud today. So I decided to depict her in a moment that many of us would recognize, studying at a table, reviewing her notes, deep in thought. It is a moment of solitude, but not of loneliness for her. She is shutting out the outside world, completely content to be immersed in her mind in the words of Torah that she's studying. This is what she wants to do, what she was born to do. Where would we be, those of us who study Talmud and are not men, without Beruria? I don't know, and I'm glad that we don't have to find out. Because whenever we sit down to learn Talmud, her legacy lives on in us. To purchase prints of these two pieces or prints of any of the incredible works of art created by my fellow artists in this project, please check my link in bio for all the available options.